This video will show you how to find inverse Laplace transform by second shift. What is second shift theorem for inverse Laplace transform? We call that Laplace transform of f of t minus c times heavy side unit step function e of t minus c is equal to e power minus cs times the Laplace transform of f of t. Reverse process, then we have inverse Laplace transform of e power minus cs f of s equal to f of t minus c times the unit step function u t minus c. To illustrate second shift theorem, let's look at inverse Laplace transform of e power minus 3s over s squared by 16. Now, this is the same as inverse Laplace transform of e power minus 3s times 1 over s squared by 16. And if we compare to the second shift theorem, we will find that e power minus 3s corresponding to e power minus cs. So that means c is equal to 3. And 1 over s squared plus 16 corresponding to Laplace transform of ft. So I have 1 over s squared plus 16 equal to Laplace transform of ft. That means, what is ft now? So ft is equal to inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared plus 16. 16 is 4 squared. So to balance, you need a 4 on top in the numerator and then divide by 4 so that this is equal to 1 quarter times sine 40. According to the second shift theorem, the answer is f of t minus c times the heavy side unit step function u of t minus c. Now we know c equal to 3, so this is f of t minus 3 times u of t minus 3. But then what is f of t minus 3? Now f of t is 1 quarter sine 4t. Therefore, replace t by t minus 3, you get f of t minus 3 is equal to 1 quarter sine 4, replace t by t minus 3, and that will give us 1 quarter sine 4t minus 12. Therefore, the final answer is equal to 1 quarter sine 4t minus 12 times heavy side unit step function u t minus 3. And that is the final answer.